Hello, everyone. Today we're going to paint a beautiful birdhouse. Let's start. Today's color we need brown, white, blue, and red. Oh, we need a little bit black also. I forgot to put it there. We need the two inches brush, and let's start with white and blue, and a little bit red on the side. Okay, and we start with blue first, and then we add the white in. Just go left and right, okay? And then put a little light color on the corner. And just keep going and cover the whole page, okay? And make sure there's no white spot left over, okay? Yeah, just go on and add everywhere blue. That's the first layer to prepare the paper, okay? And then let's get our brush. Just touch here and there little white just like the blurring background okay let's go on add here and there you can design where to put them up to you okay yeah i'm just not covering all the blue just here and there a little bit and then you can do it gently touch a little bit red and here and there okay yeah just like the background have some colors all right and we're done with the first layer okay now let's get some black color we change to a smaller brush but not too small okay we're going to do the big tree on the side here just make the shape first and you don't have to do it super straight you know trees are not super straight okay and here we change to a smaller brush even smaller all right and then do the tree trunks the smaller one yeah go on you see it just push gently take a round all right and then somewhere it maybe you need to go back to fix it a little bit and then now you find this brush like yeah the angle brush i call it and then we'll do the bird house okay so you just go on with this you can shape up very easy because i uh, have the angle okay yeah we just shape the first layer of the birdhouse just be careful leave the the top the spot okay it's not a perfect square don't do it all right don't do a perfect square just like this there we go we're done all right and yeah just shape up a little more so you know where is the roof okay And then here we add some brown color. We use the brush on your hands to find. We're going to add the second layer on the tree trunk. All right, you just go vertical lines here and there and you don't have to do a super long lines. Go all the way, okay? Little by little, go up. Yeah, just like that. So we do follow the tree trunks. And then now the third layer. So we get even lighter ones and do the same. Go vertical lines, okay? You see? Yeah, and the cover everywhere. Take your time to do it, all right? In the video, I'm speeding up because uh, we don't want to stay so long watching this, okay? But you have your own time. You can pause the video and do it your own. Don't be rushed. Now we change to a smaller one even smaller okay very thin we're going to do the small tree trunks so i prefer to use an even thinner one i always switch okay so you guys cannot control the other one you can just use one like this see i prefer to use this one okay so you can just touch gently goes around all right yeah and you can decide where to put it and then you give a curve and add some bushes in okay you see it's very easy with this brush okay but you may need a little practice to control it because the brush is so long and thin okay so you did really gentle to use this brush all right you're just adding the tree trunks right now 
And later on, we're going to put the pink leaves in. Okay, there we go. And now we're using the same brush. We get a little bit light color, like the highlights for the tree trunks. This is the first time, okay? So it takes a little time to adding details in. It's okay, all right? You just keep practicing and keep adding more details and then your painting will be look great. So here I'm just adding some highlight in here and there on the tree trunks. And then here I add a few more light bushes here and there, all right? And that's it. I think our trees, it, I leave it this way. And I will go on to the birdhouse again, all right? And this time we'll get a brown color. And use the angle brush again, all right? And then we go on um, vertical line. Yeah, it just covered. But you see, even you cover it, uh, you still left some dark color, okay? And behind, not cover everything. Right? That's why we need a set of layers to do it. And see now I get a lighter color. This time I try to make uh, vertical lines cross the birdhouse, okay? Because you know how the birdhouse is, it's a little piece of wood, right? Another piece of wood. So we have to go street lines. All right, we, cr we have the use the small brush, shape up, yeah, shape up the roof here a little bit, and then add in some shadows. Yeah, shadows just use black color, and then make some line go through all the light color, the to make separate the wood pieces. Okay. Yeah, it add lines to separate them, so it, it will show up like uh, many pieces of wood, all right? Here we add some shadow on the roof, and then also add lines. Uh, here we add some highlight on the edge of the roof, okay? That will divide separate we just see separated the roof and the bottom so it will show up clear there are some highlights on the top there we go yeah just adding more details as possible if yeah you have your own time all right so here i'm just showing you what i'm doing but sometimes um I speed it up, maybe missing some part. So you can go back and first watch it again, okay? So here I add a little more shadows. And you see our birdhouse already stand out. And now a little more highlight. Yeah, you see that's really makes stand out, right? Okay, now we get a bigger brush to do the whole the door for the bird. Yeah, just make a black circle here. And then use the small brush and make a little light color on the other side. You see? That's make, yeah, like like the wood, it have a thick part. There we go, we'll put a, a trap. Holding on the branch. Yeah, and this one you can use a, a, a other small brush if you can control it, it's fine, okay? Just be careful, don't make too thick. I think it, we're done with the birdhouse, it looks pretty nice. I will add little dark shadows on the wood, yeah, just do it here and there, and add little hole on the big wood here yeah, shape up the, just to put a little more details okay so you can come back and watch again to see what I'm doing all right and, and pay attention to watch it first and then you can do it your own later on 
So here I'm adding a little more. Yeah, all right. I think that's good enough for me. And like I said, you can work on your yours continue, okay? And now I will show you how to do the leaves. It's pretty easy. I just find some rough brush like this. We make pink. Use a white and red color. So this time we just touch it, okay? You can just top the brush to the paper. And then let's go all over the leaves here, okay? Just be careful where you put them. And that's the effect of how the painting look like, all right? Don't put it too many. You need to sell some blue skies, all right? Okay, here we add in a little bit more white color, all right? Based on the color we have before. See, we just a little bit gentler than before the way we touch it. We just need part of it is light color, okay? So go on and just add everywhere. Yeah, and then I think today's painting, we almost done. We just draw a few little bushes here, sign our name. And I hope you enjoy the painting, all right? And make sure subscribe my channel for more videos and you will learn more. All right, see you in my next video. Bye-bye.